Now let us study about the construction of fourth part that is called as screw spindle. Now the length of the screw spindle is given as 300 mm out of which the 12 mm thickness is made of 32 mm diameter and 18 mm thickness is made up of 20 mm diameter. 28 mm is made up of 16 mm diameter along with the key waist or key grooves and 16 mm is made up of M12 but out of 16 mm only partially it is threaded. Now the remaining length is the square thread of 20 into 5 mm patch. Now let us study how to do these things using solid edge software. Now using the solid edge software let us start from this surface and continue in this direction and the remaining portion will be continued in this direction. Now let us go for a command called sorry let us go for solid part. Now let us go for a command called protrusion. Let me select the front plane right plane. Now using a circle by center point command let me draw a circle of the diameter 32 first. Now the diameter of 32 circle should be drawn and it should be properly measured and the thickness should be given as 12 mm. After this, after this next 18 mm thickness has to be drawn for a distance of sorry diameter of 20 mm should be drawn for a distance of 18 mm. Now let us do it. Go for solid edge. The diameter is 20 mm. Diameter is 20 mm. Should be drawn for 18 mm thickness. 18 mm thickness. Now after that let me say finish. The second one is 28 mm for a diameter of 16 mm. Now let us go for protrusion. Once again, circle by center point. The diameter is 18 mm. The diameter is, so the diameter is 16 mm, not 18 mm. So diameter is 16 mm. So let me position the diameter 16 mm there for a distance of 28 mm. Then say finish. Once again, using the same protrusion command, the distance is 16 mm diameter is 12 mm. Now select the face here. Diameter is 12 mm and the distance is 16 mm. Distance is 16 mm. Let me say finish. Now we have created all this four things 12, 18, 28, 16 mm. Now we have to do this component. Now let us go here using the solid edge itself using this face draw a circle of diameter 20 mm draw a circle of diameter 20 mm now say return now the length should be given as 300 minus all these values what is the values 12 mm minus 18 mm minus 28 mm minus 16 mm so 12 plus 18 is 30 mm plus 28 mm plus 16 mm. So it will come around 74 mm. So 300 minus 74 is that required distance. Now 300. So 300 minus 74 is the required value. Now this is what a length of the remaining portion. Let me say finish. Now make use of thread command. Let us go for straight threads. Then accept OK. Select the cylinder. I select any one of the face. And throughout the, throughout the cylinder extent I wanted a thread. Now we don't have TR20 into 5. Let us go for TR20 into 4. And then say finish. It will be threaded. In the same fashion, select this one also, then select the face, sorry, select this face as the offset face, select this face as the offset face, then give the offset value for some distance. Because the dimension of the offset is not given, let us assume any one dimension, let us give the dimension as 4mm, then 
we have to give for m12 then say finish so this completes the construction of these things and remember one more thing we are using the solid edge v18 even though the offset value is given but in v18 there is no provisions to show the portion from here to here as the normal uh, shank portion it is available only in v20 so do not consider this is a mistake it is correct only if you want the proof let me show you later now after doing these things only remaining portion is we have to provide the keyways at this position for a thickness of 4.5 and a height of 2.45 now let us do the things now let us go for solid edge part go for cutout command now where it has to be done it has to be done at this position so let me draw a rectangle like this let me draw a rectangle now after drawing this rectangle using tangent command tangent this one to here using symmetric relationship these two lines must be symmetrical to each other and the dimension is given as 4.5 mm is the width and the height is given as 2.25 mm the height is given as 2.25 mm let me say return to where it has to only for 28 mm that is the width of this particular portion now this is going to complete the required portion that is called as screw spindle now let us go for save now using summary type it as screw spindle then say ok it should be saved in the name of screw spindle now after saving it now let me show you that this is partially threaded now to verify that let us go for file create drawing ok next then i wanted its front view then say finish now you can see the front view i am generating since this portion is completely threaded you can see the thread throughout the object but here it is partially threaded now you can see here to here this is what a offset distance thread has been happened here but in solid edge v20 from here to here you will see the normal gray color pattern but from here to here only you can see in the green color but in solid edge v18 we don't have that option so that the complete cylinder will be shown as threaded portion but in actual practice it will not be completely threaded now this completes the fifth part of a tailstock that is called as screw spindle